Pay attention. You can eat it. You okay? Yeah. All right, you're either going to leg scissor <coughs> right off the bat, or you're just going to pop and come back on top and then walk around in a circle. Okay. Do you see how I just fell and then bridged them? So you go one, two, three, and all I'm going to do is step my, my legs here and fall to my back. He's going to hold me up in slow motion here. And then I'm gonna to fall to my back. And then this is my bridge. And then you can come back up and walk and finish. Okay, next one. Our next one. Once we're here, you scoop, you punch. You're gonna put your hook here. You put your hook here. And all I'm gonna do is drop, sit, come up, and finish. Okay, Ethan, Jeff. Okay, scoop, bash, okay, hold on. Now you're gonna jump your left hook, your left, we call it the Captain Morgan, and you're gonna jump your foot right here, adjacent to his foot, right here. And sit. That's it, come on top. So this is called the flick. Now Jeff can do the same one on Ethan. So if you're lighter, you can get away with it, same as, but now, so you have it, nice and tight. You're gonna jump both feet and catapult, jump up, put both feet and catapult them. And bang, that's it. So you can use one leg or two legs. Jeff could use two, Brandon don't use two legs. Because <laughs> once you get established and they resist, that's when you do the two leg jump. Grab my arm. Watch this. Jump. Uh, both legs here. Both legs here. That's where he should be. See, he's got one leg in, one hook, uh, other leg. And he jumps his other leg up. I don't know. Uh, jump forward on your foot. No, you're not on me. Just keep your hook here. Jump your leg forward. See, that's your first one. So we're in an alignment. The second one is he jumps both feet up, go bang, and that's a catapult throw, okay? All right, here we go. So all I'm gonna do, because I, uh, instead of trying to rip everything out, let's say he's grabbing his hands, so all I'm gonna do is just hold here. Down and hip over, and now I finish it. Okay, same thing, bang. Collar tie, scoop, grab, he grabs his hands. So what I'm gonna do is just twist my body, throw, and head down and hip over. And walk. That's it. Okay, next one. Boom, there it is. Twist your body, head down, hip over, that's a throw. All right, let's try it. Uh, hanging arm throw with the arm. So we're gonna hook our elbows together. And you're gonna skip in a circle, and then you're gonna stop, and then you're gonna hip up, and then throw your partner over. Hold on, you gotta skip, Jeff. Okay, now, are you ready? Bridge, and hips up. That's it, that's a hanging arm throw with the, with the crook of the elbow. So your partner can hold you up at, while you're rotating. It's a fast rotation. As soon as you see the sky, you look to the floor. But keep your hips in the air. Mm -hmm. Hips up. That's it. See that? And that doesn't hurt them. Okay. And then you do it, Jeff. It doesn't hurt each other. This is how you practice it. Hook it. And go. Keep your hips in the air. Don't let your hips drop. So, oh, hold on. Ethan's going to hold me up. Hold me up. Mm -hmm. Slowly. 
Look. And then I rotate. Oh yeah, that's the throw. All right, let's do it. When he shoots a double, watch this. Look. It looks funny, right? For here, he shoots a double. Bang. That's it. So all I'm gonna do is sit. And as I sit, I've got to rip. Slowly, look at my hands. It comes in. Bang. There it is. Shoot. I sit. And that's the rip. And then what? Just keep ripping. He's gonna roll. Now, how do I finish? Number one, no thumb. Put your elbow here and sit out. Number two, step over his head. His head is straight up, tight. Number three, turn his head. Number four, side control. And those are four, four finishes for that lock. One, two, three, four. So, when he comes in for a double, let's see. See the hand? Sit. Lift. He rolls. No thumb. No thumb. Bring your elbow to the floor and sit out. That's your first one. Number two, put your hand on the stomach, pinch his head, he's face up, up, no space. Number three, kickstart his face. Number four, fall to side control. Oh. That's it. Those are your four finishes. Okay, so Jeff, shoot a double leg on Ethan. He's gonna take it here. And sit, just sit. Now rip it. That's your first lock. The first lock is elbow high. Don't bring it behind his back. Bring it straight up. And that's gonna make him roll or tap. Now, no thumb, elbow, now sit out. That's your first tap, that's a nasty tap. Number two, put his hand in his stomach. And now, turn his head. Hold on, pinch his head tight, lift his elbow straight up to your chest, and then twist. Number three, turn his face down. Lift it up. Number four, just fall to side control. This other way. And bring it to the floor. That's it. Four finishes from the, the set. Okay, let's try it. In old school catch wrestling, the double wrist lock, the chicken wing, was the bread and butter hold of most wrestlers. And today I just showed a bunch of variations of ways to attack it. You can get it from the half guard, you can get it from side control, you can get it from north and south, you can get it from standing. There's many ways to attack it and then throw. Once you lock it, you never let it go. You keep that figure four on there until you finish it. And that was the bread and butter hold catch wrestling.